let's talk about velocity banking and car insurance. So here's what I had going on. I had my car insurance coming out on auto draft out of my bank account. Okay. And then I had like a little bit of a breather and then credit card five was due. So I called up the car insurance and I was like, Hey, I don't want to auto draft on the bank account anymore. I'd like to pay for it with a credit card. So they're like, okay, cool. So then I get a statement from them that was for several hundred dollars more than my monthly auto draft. And I called them up and I was like, Hey, what's this about? And they said, well, you have to be on an auto draft to get that monthly reduced rate. I said, well, can I do it with a credit card? They said, yes, you've got to come into the office, sign a piece of paper. So I did that today. I went in, signed the piece of paper, gave them the card that I want to auto draft it on. So instead of $345 due during that time period, instead, I will be calling up the credit card company and making a payment for $325. And the reason why I do that is that I know that right after I make that payment or like the day after or whatever, I want to do this first, um, the car insurance will then auto draft off of that card. And the reason why I want to call the credit card company first and make that payment is because my interest is determined upon my um, average daily balance. And so I don't want them to see any higher balance. I don't want that $213 to sit there. So I'm going to call up the credit card company. And instead of making the payment for $132, I'm going to make it for $325, which covers the car insurance and it covers the interest on that card. And you can see at my month at a glance that my car insurance comes out first and then my credit card is due like nine days later. That's not going to be the case anymore. So now I'm going to switch it up for like the next month and I'm going to make that my, my card is going to be paid out before the car insurance comes out. And so this is not like a huge cash flow difference, but any kind of change that you can make like this makes a difference. And so I've gone from a $345 uh, need for the individual car insurance and the credit card to $325. So that gives me $20 in cash flow just from moving stuff around. Okay. So all I'm trying to do with credit card five is sleep it and free up any kind of cash flow I can squeeze out of it so that I can then turn around and use that for my primary velocity banking debt tool, which is credit card one. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. I just wanted to give you another example of just moving some money around to free up some cash flow because, again, we're going to direct all of our cash flow towards that one card, get that one paid down, move the next card into that position. All right, thanks.